Hi. I'd like to talk about the logic that I use when I think about how an artist can fail with their art. I'm not very good with grays. I prefer things in black and white. So when I think about language, I say language is communication. I think art is communication. I think clothing is communication. I think music is communication. I think all these forms of self-expression, they're supposed to do exactly that. You're, it's supposed to take what you are thinking and express it. Express meaning to show, to put on display. And your feelings aren't put on display if people don't understand. Here's an illustration. If I start calling cars roly-polies, and I don't tell anyone that roly-poly means car, when I start talking to people about roly-polies, I will fail to communicate, because people won't know that I mean car. So, oh, there's a book. So that's my point. Roly-poly already means something in society. If I start talking about roly-polies, people's minds will go to what roly-poly means societally, what we've all agreed roly-poly means. I'm, I'm breaking the rules of that language by using roly-poly a different way. Now, language does change over time. Like, if other people catch on that the four-wheeled vehicle is called a roly-poly, now that's a new definition of roly-poly. It can change. But if other people don't know that it means that, then it doesn't mean that. The language hasn't changed if only you know the rules. I guess an exception to that would be if you're only trying to communicate with yourself, but that's complicated, right? Uh, that's a use case I guess I'm leaving out. I guess if you make art and the only person you intend to show the art to is yourself, the only person you're trying to communicate with is yourself, then you haven't failed. But if you have a message that you want to tell people and other people don't understand it, they don't know what language you're using. And you have to think, are you using a language? Is there intentionality to what you're doing? I learned in college that you can eventually learn to look at a painting and then read the biography of the painter and then come back. And you should be able to say with some certainty what the painting is about. And if what the artist means to tell you, means to tell you, the audience, doesn't match up with what you, the audience, think he's saying, well then the communication has not been successful. It, it, communication is a two-way street. You have to know the language that the person speaking to you is speaking. So if you don't know how to interpret paintings, it's on you. You didn't understand it. But if they don't know how to create paintings, then it's on them. If I don't know the word roly-poly means automobile, then it's on me. But if they haven't... You know what I'm saying? It's a two-way street, and you both have to be speaking the same language. And so if the artist has a language only they know, then they can only communicate with themselves. And is it really art if it's just for yourself? Maybe. I guess.
What do you think?